Next up on my trip to Madeira was a short journey to the top of a mountain and a golf challenge at Santo de Serra Golf Club. The views on the journey are quite stunning, so I can only imagine what awaits. madeiragolfpassport.com for more info and save money on the courses I play. Okay, welcome back to another uh, episode from Madeira and I'm going to be filming another man versus golf hole challenge at Santa de Serra Golf Course. Obviously we're high up top, we've got some spectacular views, there's a bit of a breeze and I'm going to take on three signature holes here at Santa de Serra. You can't have three signature holes but they're all pretty damn good. And I'll see how I get on in a man versus golf hole challenge. Quick reminder of the rules of that one very, very shortly. And I'll also show you around Funchal. Right, so the challenge starts here today at Santa de Serra. It's hole number two. I just play these things and I'll pick the holes as I see them as the, uh, from the tee box. This looks like an interesting one. Stroke index seven, a bigger ravine to start with. Should be comfortably looking to get over that. We're going driver and then see what we leave over the other side big bunker on the right hand side and uh, a lot of rubbish down the left. Well I started off down the middle, it's leaking out to the right. Well, I've seen it bounce, we're over, so we've got the wind coming off the left which I'm not quite feeling off this tee box but I'm pretty sure we've got it howling off that left hand side. Uh, at least that's my excuse anyway. And we've pitched in over the top of the bunkers, just to the right. But I feel we might be blocked out for that second shot. Right, as I uh, suspected, we, uh, well, we're not blocked out. I've actually got a direct line to the flag, but we've got a couple of trees to navigate, uh, to say the least. It's a tight one because going left, you're a brave man. We've got to kind of, obviously, I haven't got a yardage, but I think we're about 100 out. And this is certainly, Got to be flighted down a little bit. Oh, that could work. Go. Kick on. Ah. Do you know what? That's not too bad. It's, um, we flighted it down. It's probably had a little more carry than uh, needed than I actually thought. At one point, I thought that was really good, you know. Yeah, coming up a little bit short. The ground's a little bit softer. We've had a bit of overnight rain and uh, I think in the summer, that would have uh, probably skews it onto the green. Anyway, can we get up and down? Now sit. Sit! Ah, do you know what? We've got a chance. And don't forget, I'm on a shot. So what that basically means is, i got a putt to win. Or two for the half. Just a little bit. Off right edge is my read. Oh, and I think that was a bit of a pull more than anything else. A pretty weak effort with the putter. So that's a five, which is a net four, which means we start off with a half. Santo de Serra has 27 holes of mature parkland golf set in a breathtaking location, which provides a great variety of holes along the way. Right, we are going to play the third hole because I'm told that three and four are very much the, uh, the signature holes here. Um, we've got 451 off the yellows. I'm just looking back at the stroke index. I think that's a six, so we get a shot here as well. But very much uh, the map shows that we're sort of weaving our way from right to left. So first of all, we need a drive down the centre. Let me see. Oh, 
like literally as good as I've got. In fact, it's probably the best drive uh, I've hit in the two or three days we've been here. That was bullet straight. It was right down the middle of the fairway, the tree that you can see bang centre, just to the right side of that. Hopefully Shot Tracer picks it up. And like I said, I have no idea what lies over the other side. I think we sort of start to turn now into that left hand side. We'll see what lies over the brow. Okay, well first of all we've got 174 into the flag. Um, right over the angle of this kind of uh, ravine, big fall off to the left. But what I first of all want to say is, you know, sometimes you're better off knowing, not knowing what lies above in terms of that drive because I couldn't have placed it any better, but anything left is completely gone. Uh, but as it stands, I brought five iron down. Um, it's probably between five and six, and the wind, as I said on the earlier hole, is sort of howling off this, uh, off this left. Right, nice and easy. We'll go easy with the five, because I'm not walking back to the buggy. Right, ball, that is, that's a controlled five iron. Now just sit down. Sit down, ball. Oh my, I cannot believe that it's actually disappeared into the back bunker. When I hit the ball, I thought, or when it was landing, I thought I was just going to pull up pin high for a putt for eagle. As it stands, it looks like we've just disappeared into the back bunker. Well, I brought three clubs with me because I wasn't sure exactly where I'd landed. And uh, looking at this, the first thought was, I've not landed in the bunker, fantastic. But then on second glance, it looks like I'm going to have a real awkward one. So, uh, for the iron shot I played in, I'm a little disappointed. And do you know what? I think the easiest option might be to try and put this. This is for Eagle, don't forget. A little awkward one, to say the least. Let's see if we can get it down there. Give us a chance. It's got to slow down. Slow down a bit. Yeah. At first I thought it was okay, but it's kind of raced away a little bit. Still, we're putting for birdie and I'm on a shot. So uh, effectively two for the win from here. But I'd still like to get the birdie because I feel like the drive and the five iron in certainly deserved it. But we know that's not how golf works. I don't think there's a great deal in this. Again, falling away to the right, if anything. Come on, and we haven't really hold a putt yet. And we still haven't. Ah, that's frustrating. Two great shots and uh, a three putt but there you go we've walked away with what is again don't forget that's a par on a shot so it gets me the win now this one's going to be quite lively roll out ball roll out got a bit of a chance you know it's got a bit of a chance oh these greens are lively to be honest with you here at uh, santa de Serra, and they're really really true as well which is nice to see and hopefully you've seen plenty of holes in between to give you a little bit of a look around this place but earlier on this morning I took a walk around the city of Funchal, which is about a 20 minute drive from here. Right, let's make this challenge really simple. We're going to play two, three, and four. The fourth being a par three, stroke index five, 163 off the yellows. That's a real weird one because uh, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with eight time because I think the wind is across, but perhaps helping again. The other real disappointment, I'm so sorry I can't show this course off in its full glory, is that 
the sort of um, into the water out there is some kind of uh, rocks and almost like peninsula that goes out into the sea which I uh, visited yesterday very briefly to have a look around and it looks absolutely stunning there's water right over the top of there it's very much their signature hole but unfortunately we can't see enough of it today if I get a chance later and this clears a little bit then I will come back and hopefully be showing you some brighter pictures right now anyway eight iron it is and it's a big eight iron don't get me wrong so I'm looking for a lot of the wind to help me carry it off that left hand side okay that's a good strike here comes the wind it's hovering a little bit has it got to go has it got to go oh I don't know whether that's long enough that seems a hold in the wind which has confused me a little bit because it feels like it's coming off the back of me but I think that's possibly short I thought it was really good again it looked right on the pin to be honest with you the green's got a bit of a backstop so uh, I'm hoping it just kills it a little but it's not an easy one it's nestled down a little bit and just sit sit oh now come on and you've got to make a putt let me get me putter again walk down with a couple of wedges and a putter I'm quite happy with that but as we've seen already uh, getting here has not been too bad today it's been the putter that's been the problem now uh, in theory we've got the win but we still need that uh, I'd like to par that and make a nice up and down just to finish our little challenge here yes a hold on at last I've had a danger I don't really know she's on the first two They're a bit of a pull certainly uh, over to the left hand side get that face open and uh, we've hold one nice and straight and firm great hole as I said massive apologies uh, well to everybody involved really I'm just a shame that we can't show this off to its full potential because yeah another great signature hole in fact Tracy if you just have a little walk forward don't let me forget my golf ball this is probably a closer look at the um, that sort of peninsula that I was suggesting in fact come all the way forward I'll rake the bunker we'll walk through the bunker and uh, forget me have a little pan over there and that's what we're looking at and what we'd normally see from the tee box oh Jesus I forgot the ball after all I knew I'd do that here's Trace I've just had an incredible meal and uh, what a great afternoon but travel now we're back into a different hotel which is uh, that one there Carlo Resort in Madeira I'll let you know what this place is like very very shortly we're right on the waterfront yet again it's been a great few days so far evening but I've just arrived at the room and uh, what I'm about to show you is really really special now behind me is uh, well it's a nice room really nice bathroom very pleasant indeed but when I turn this camera around the real sort of star of this show is what's on the other side of the camera and on the other side of these windows because this is well I'd say balcony but it's not a balcony is it it's a terrace maybe that's an understatement as well what a view what a location for a uh, for a hotel room and uh, yeah that there is going to be our residence for the next few nights right welcome back to the channel and this week's video comes to you from Palero Golf Club in Madeira um, I've got lots of content I'm filming over the next four or five days but this is very much my what's in the bag of 2022 and you know this thing works it's what's in the bag right now there's a few tweaks and changes that still might happen and uh, I will explain as the video progresses as to where I'm at but there's some interesting changes there and if you've been watching the channel of late the big question is 
did I change those irons or not?